Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So this is the contest, bi-weekly contest 45 and this is the problem number 3 of the contest. So let us see what the problem statement is saying. We are given a string consisting of A, B and C and we have to apply the following algorithm. So the first thing is we have to take a prefix consisting of similar characters from the string S and we can pick a suffix of similar characters from the string S and the prefix and the suffix should not intersect the characters from the prefix and the suffix must be same and we can delete those prefix and suffix return the minimum length of the string after repeating the above algorithm n number of times so basically we have to select a prefix and the suffix and the characters must be same so can we do anything in the case when we have ca we cannot do uh, because the c the thing that is at the front c and the thing that is at the end a are not same so we cannot do anything here what about this one so we have C here and we have C at the end as well so these two are same and we can remove them so we will be left with this much okay now we have A at both the ends so we can remove A as well and now we have B at both the ends we can remove B as well and we have A we can remove A and we so the minimum size that is left is zero so we can empty the entire string repeating all these all these steps of the algorithm what about this one so in this we can remove this double a and this a from the end so this is the suffix this is the prefix now the characters in the suffix and the prefix are same that's why we can remove them now we will be left with this much so b and this double b we can remove this b from the front and double b from the end we will be left with c c a now this c and this a are not same that's why we cannot do anything so the size that is left is uh, this much 3 so now let me take some example here yeah so let me take this a b c c c a c c a and b b b b and let me just um, add few more a and then a b all right so what i can do is i can look at the front part i can look at the back part so i'm keeping two pointers here start pointer and the end pointer or maybe the left or the right pointer whatever you consider so we will compare are they same are these two values same if they are same so i will simply pick up the entire part from the starting so maybe let us just add one more b yeah we will be picking up the starting part where all the characters are equal to b so i will be picking up this part from here and similarly i will be picking up the end part where all the characters are b and i will simply remove them okay i will simply remove this part so basically i shifted the start i shifted the start to this place and end to this place I'm going to do the same thing again I will see if these two characters are same so they both are same so in the case when these two characters are not same I will show you what will happen in that case so they, they both are same then what I'm going to do the same thing again I will be picking up the starting part with all the characters as a and the end part with all the characters and B as B and I will simply remove them so instead of saying like this what I can say is I will keep shifting s till the time I am having A as the character so I will keep incrementing S till I have a, a B or a C so I will be here so that means I deleted this part okay the same thing I will keep decrementing my end till the part I either strike with C or B so my end will come here so basically this part is also this part is also removed now these characters are not same that's why we cannot perform these steps of the, our algorithm and we cannot reduce the string size further so that is why we will be returning end minus start plus one from here so this is the size that we are left with and we cannot further reduce it that's why we'll simply return here so this is what you can do i think uh, the code is fairly simple i i i don't want to code this i want you guys to code it out yourself so the main thing is uh, you should be you should think it in a greedy way you should try to remove as many elements as you want from the start and as many elements as many elements as you can from the start and as many elements as you can from the end so yeah you can code this and the time complexity of the solution is going to be big o of n the extra space we we haven't used any extra space here so the space complexity is constant 
so this is it for the video you can solve this and you can also check the solution to the problem number two which I have explained in very detailed for those who don't know what KDS algorithm is uh, I have explained everything in detail so you can go and check that video out as well thank you